we've seen that if we want to fit a model of the form y equals ax plus b, also known as a straight line, to some data, there is wonderful software that can do it and tell us the value of a, the gradient, the value of b, the intercept, and the uncertainties in both. But what happens if it's a different equation you want to fit? Well, there's a trick called linearization. Quite often you can make your different equation look like a straight line. For example, let's say you wanted y equals a x squared plus b. You can make a new variable z equals x squared. So this is rewritten as y equals a z plus b and you can find out what a and b are using the straight line fitting and then go back to your value of x squared. A more common situation is when you have a polynomial. So let's say you have y equals a x to some unknown power n. This happens quite a lot and you might want to find out what n is. Now the trick here is to take the logs of both sides. Take the log to base e, so log y equals log a x to the n, which is the same as log a plus n log x. So what we now need to do is get one column in our spreadsheet which is giving log y, and one which is giving log x, and once again we have a straight line here. And n is the gradient, and log a is the intercept. So if you see an equation of this form you want to fit to the data, take the logs, plot log y against log x, and that will work out the value of n and the value of a. You do need to change the uncertainties as well. If you go back to the uncertainty propagation equation, we know that if x equals log a, then the standard deviation in x is equal to the standard deviation in a divided by the value of a. So you'll need to have columns in your spreadsheet that convert x and y into the logs and convert the uncertainties using this equation. And then you can use a straight line fitting program and find out the parameters you want and the uncertainties in both. Another common function is an exponential. Let's imagine that y equals some constant a e to another constant b times x. We've seen in this course how common this is as a solution to all sorts of equations. Now once again, if we want to fit some data to this and find the values of a and b, the trick is to take logs. So now we get log y equal to log a e to the bx, which is equal to log a plus bx. These are all logs to the base e, so log of e to the something is just a something. So now you'd plot log y against x. So up here it was log y against log x, here it's log y against x. This is called a log-log plot, and this is a log-linear plot. And what you'll find is that the intercept tells you the log of a, and the gradient gives you b, the power to x is raised to. Now those two tricks are very useful in a wide variety of situations. However, sometimes you'll be trying to fit a model that is just too complicated and can't be linearized like this. Once upon a time that was really bad news, but now, due to advances in computer software and computer power, there is a generalized nonlinear least squares fitting. If you Google this, you'll find numerous programs and Python libraries that do this, and this will fit any model to any data. It's more computationally intensive, but usually still only takes a fraction of a second. It's usually a bit more complicated to set up. It's not linear because the function doesn't need to be a straight line. It can be anything. 
its least squares because you're looking at how far away all the data is from the model squaring that and trying to make that as low as possible so to try and make the model as close as possible to the data so nowadays it's quite straightforward to fit almost anything to anything but when you can linearization is a simple way to do it